you know, my specialty with, with coaching athletes has to do specifically where I, I don't care what the athlete's background is. So I've worked with, you know, uh, soldiers, cops, MMA athletes, boxers, kickboxers, uh, moms, dads. Because to me, fear is fear. You know, the, the, the scenario, the fight. Um, you coach uh, top level athletes in the MMA Jiu Jitsu world. So what I, what I want is, you know, while I'm talking about this, I can see, I can see your, your brain going on 100 miles an hour. And, and you've integrated a lot of my material anyways I, you know, into, into, into your sport and into your team. Pick, pick a, 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 a pure jiu-jitsu example that, and we'll just talk it through because I think this is going to be powerful for your, your viewership because a lot of them aren't going to be able to get to the armory mm -hmm. and have you as their coach. Mm -hmm. You're going to have you know, people on the other side of the world because of the magic of the internet mm -hmm. trying to dissect this stuff. Mm -hmm. So you got a, uh, I'll just throw something out there, you got a guy who's in a tournament and uh, he's, he's, it's an important tournament, he's midway through the tournament and suddenly he's facing an opponent that beat him in a prior tournament, uh, he got caught, arm bar, ankle lock, whatever you want. How would you, if you had, um, you know, half an hour between a fight, and, and he was familiar with the cycle of behavior, so you didn't have to go quickly come over here. I mean, he's already familiar with it. Mm -hmm. How would you draw his fears out of him, mm -hmm. and and where would you where would you take him if the, if this is a map? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so you know the cycle of behavior. Just I find as a coach, the cycle of behavior is most, especially most valuable when you can integrate it through your camp. Right. Okay. So um, I, I, I want it at one point to be a slap-on tool, but at the other point, I want it to be an overlay for an entire camp because I find cycle behavior is appropriate for strength and conditioning because mm -hmm. uh, guys sometimes are like, ah, oh, you know, I, I know I'm not going to be that good in conditioning today. I'm going to look like shit. I'm going to feel like shit. Uh, yeah, and so there you go, you know, I'm there, you go. there you're in the yeah. fear loop. Uh, or uh, you've got to train hard against the big guys today, you know. So I, I use cycle behaviors to lay over throughout the training camp uh, in, in different sort of uh, uh, situations. But in this situation, uh, because you put me on the spot, um, you know, the first thing I would do is determine which athlete I'm working with because each athlete has different resources mentally. Um, and the athlete might say to me uh, uh, nothing in regards to uh, the fact that he was caught last time, mm -hmm. especially in jiu-jitsu match. So the, the first thing I would do is, is it'd say, okay, here we go, we're going in, we've got about 30 minutes before the next match. Um, what are your thoughts right now? And, and, and you know, give the athlete permission through the trust you've established over the, the training period of the years to tell me what he's concerned with. You know, let's get it out on the table, let's deal with it, let's tear it apart because it's not real yet. But it's going to be a pebble in your shoe, and we need to get that out of the way so we don't leave anything. So we'll chat about that. And it might or might not be the arm bar. Right. Uh, and if it is the arm bar, if it isn't the arm bar, I probably wouldn't bring it up mm -hmm. uh, because why would I? You know, don't think of purple elephants. Right. Don't get caught in the arm bar. Yeah, you're triggering the fear loop. Yeah. 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 So that's that's number one. Number two is uh, what is our plan? How are we going through this? And if that if plan A doesn't work, where are we on plan B? Um, he's going to have to have some sort of concern. And I wouldn't use the word fear with my athletes. What I use with my athletes, it's a play on words, but with these type of athletes, it's concern. What are your concerns, Bonnie? And we'll identify those concerns. How's your gas? What do you feel like? You know, remember, remember our, you know, three levels of, of, of gas. You know, it's a 10 minute match. Um, and and I'll, I'll make sure I flush out without beating him to death what his concern is going in. And then how would you want me to coach you through that as we're in there? Is there anything that you're going to want to hear? Do you want me, you want to be on a joystick the whole time? Or do you want some clarity of thought? Uh, do you want one word uh, uh, management? Or do you want full sentences? So these are all things that I think are important tools. So as he goes through all these situations, uh, we've agreed upon a communication system, both verbally and spiritually, mm -hmm. which end up affecting him physically, uh, how I'm going to manage him or her on the mat. Uh, because as you always said, what's in your head affects your performance. What affects your performance and your tactics is what's in your head. Mm -hmm. And so th that's that's how I would probably manage through that specific situation. I, I had a uh, guy who was a, 
a police officer, SWAT operator, I was training who, who competed every year in the, uh, in the World um, Police Olympics in Taekwondo. And uh, what was interesting is using the, the, the cycle behavior, when I trained him, he pulls me aside after and, you know, expecting him to, you know, talk to me about some weapon retention move or multiple sale and something. And he says, uh, he, goes, uh, he goes, hey, Coach Blower, can I ask you a question? Yeah. He goes, so every year I compete in the final, you know, I get to the finals, I'm one of the top Taekwondo guys. And he goes, every year for the last four years, I won one and then my nemesis won the next year. And then I won the next year and then he won. And now, um, and then I won, and now it's his year to win. So I got a question to you, because because he always catches me with his back kick. And I said, well, listen, just why don't we just train next year, because he's winning this year, <laughs> right? And then he goes, what? He, I said, you already told me that, right? You told me you won, and now it's his year to win, and he always catches you to back kick. So you've already figured out how he's going to win the tournament. You know, I wouldn't even show up if I were you. Let him win and this go next year, take the year off. So he was like, he was like kind of laughing but confused, but we went right into the whole, you're in the fear loop, you got this fault. And you know, it's just, um, you decide the power of what you're visualizing on. You know, you decide right then. And, it, and if you decided, um, wait a minute, uh, Anthony Robbins says past doesn't equal the future, correct, right? So, you know, but he had already decided he goes and I go, he goes and I go. I said, this isn't Olympic fencing, this is a fight, you know? And what we did right there is, you know, and this will, this will be a, a fun future video for us, the emotional climate training. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what I did with him was I did ECT, emotional climate training, for the, the uh, spinning back kick, right there at this cop thing, and totally un, unraveled his whole fear and identity on, on you know, on what would happen if a back kick came in, mm -hmm. and broke it down from primal to protective to tackle. I mean, and it and it it totally uh, it totally changed his attitude. It was like I'm going for it, you know. So so it is a huge tool. It can be done on the spot. It's way better to do it the way you're doing it. Is where it becomes part of the map at camp, so that you you can pull somebody aside and have a mentor moment and say you're in the fear loop, but you know you got to get at you know for whatever whatever it is. So. Uh, no, that's 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 awesome. And for for athletes out there, as they as they study it, I guess a, a, a caution when you're watching this is the first couple times you watch cycle behavior. And I've been teaching it for almost two decades. Yeah. Um, every time we do an advanced training, where where my international team comes in, the question they have the most on is for me to go over. Or the quest is. Can you go over cycle behavior again? I go, you've been using it for like five years, you want me to go over it again? It's that deep for some people or that esoteric for some people that they, they want to try and get it to be as Sesame Street or even Bert simple as possible. Mm -hmm. So what I would caution uh, and, and encourage your audience to do is don't listen to it once and go, I don't get it. You know, if you're a smart guy, you're using it, you know, uh, other athletes are using it, other warriors are using it. It takes a couple of, uh, uh, you know, listens and thinks about thinking about it, and, and write out your own cycle behavior, and go, oh, shit, yeah, I was in the fear loop there, mm -hmm. and that's where my performance, you know, suffered, and, and uh, it's a it's a very useful tool. Uh, and 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 in, in, in closing, the one item in the fear loop that if I had to pick one, if I was forced to, it would be the F E A R acronym. I don't always come back to that because in the moment, if my Fighter was going on the mat and said, oh, he's going to catch me, or I'm worried about that Omar again, coach. I'm worried about it. Great. It hasn't happened yet. You're giving him way too much power over you, too, yeah, too much skills. Are you prepared? Did you prepare? You feel good. You're going to see the armbar coming this time. And be careful not to fixate, but stay mm -hmm. focused. And that's an item mm -hmm. that's important in fear. It's great to be able to focus. It's debilitating to fixate. Mm -hmm. And that is what happens, I find, with my athletes in the fear loop and in the FEAR, false expectations and false evidences. They fixate on something that's not happened yet and it takes away their ability to focus on the big picture. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's, that's the one gem that if I had to put on an athlete right there and put me on the spot, I would use that. That's an awesome, awesome point. Good. Cool.